Now for assessing the lungs. It's critical to understand the normal anatomy of the lungs. So starting with the lobes, the right side of the lung has three lobes and the left side only has two lobes. Now when we're listening to the lungs, we listen in between the ribs. This is called the intercostal space. So just think in between the ribs for intercostal is where we listen. Now the respiratory system sort of looks like an upside down tree. We have the trachea, also called the windpipe, which serves as the stump of the tree, branching off into the bronchus, the right and left. Then to the bronchi, our smaller branches there, and the bronchioles, the very tiny branches, eventually ending at the alveolar sacs, which I call the alveolar apples, because this is where all the action happens. As you know, the alveolar sac is where gas exchange occurs, exchanging CO2, that carbon dioxide, for oxygen. Well, if you don't know, now you know. We breathe out that CO2 and we breathe in that oxygen. Now it all happens here in the little capillary beds of each alveolus. It's critical to know this when we start breaking down the patho of various diseases. So if we have fluid in the lungs, like with pulmonary edema, typical for patients in heart failure, where we get heavy fluid all over the body, we get really wet lungs that block this oxygen from getting in. Or if these little alveoli collapse like an atelectasis, well then gas exchange can't happen and infection settles in, resulting in pneumonia, which we cover in a separate video. So normally we breathe oxygen in, and breathe out that CO2, that carbon dioxide, which I call carbon diacid, since too much of it can put your body in acidosis. We even have a little song about this on iTunes and Google Play called Don't Stop Breathing. It's a parody to Don't Stop Believing from Journey. I'll play a little segment real quick. Just two real thin lungs Sit above the diaphragm Exchanging CO2 for oxygen. Okay, hopefully you like that little segment. I'll add the full song at the end of this video, so be sure you stay till the end. Now for auscultation locations, we have anterior, which is the front, on the chest, and posterior, on the back, where we mostly assess the lower lobes on the back. We want to position the patient upright in high Fowler's position. Point the diaphragm, the big part of the stethoscope, downward, and place it in the intercostal spaces, that part in between the ribs. Now, normal breath sounds are known as normal vesicular breath sounds, are soft and low-pitched breezy sounds. This key point is a need to know for Kaplan standardized exams. So, Kaplan mentions, normal breath sounds are vesicular breath sounds, soft and low-pitched breezy sounds heard over most of the peripheral lung fields. Okay, now for the good stuff, the assessment. We start on the front, the anterior, basically the chest. We want to start at the top, on the right side, above the clavicle, aka above the collarbone. We listen for a full inhalation and a full exhalation. Then we move to the opposite side. Now, we want to compare the quality, the depth, as well as extra sounds. These extra sounds are called adventitious breath sounds. Then we move to the second ICS, mid-clavicular, basically meaning the middle of the clavicle. An ICS is that intercostal space in between the ribs. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this segment. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides.